You know, we've been talking today about bulk solids and granular materials, and one that uh, we used uh, is used quite often in the Rolla mixer is the blending of plastics and, and, and putting uh, plastic pellets together and uh, creating a homogeneous blend. And as you know, plastics are used in everyday uses from medical to uh, uh, industrial to uh, consumer products that uh, are, are, you know, you'll find throughout your home. And in some cases, they're actually mixing in uh, those uh, concentrated pigments into the plastic blend to create that finished color. In this case, this is a regrind plastic that has 0.2% of a, of a pellet that has to be thoroughly distributed throughout the batch. And when you talk about batches of, of, of plastics material, we have some customers who are doing 44,000 pounds, a truckload at a time, and they want one homogeneous blend with one lot number that they can have consistency throughout that 44,000 pound batch. And so here's, a, here's an example of some of those finished pellets that they'd manufacture in the Rolla mixer where they're looking for um, that uh, uniform consistency. And we have some customers who will take recycled 7-Up uh, bottles and they'll crush them down and then reuse them to make new 7-Up bottles. Same goes with uh, recycled milk bottles. Uh, they'll chop up that uh, white plastic and then uh, put them back into our machine to create a, um, uh, a new set of uh, milk bottles. Uh, McDonald's trays is a good example of uh, something that is a blend of, uh, of plastics with a, a green pigment that it makes up that finished tray. And uh, we have uh, been involved in so many different plastic applications. This particular customer down in Texas actually puts on an insecticide onto the plastic and then they punch out these deer ta or these, these tags for, for the ears. Uh, you'll see number 45 and number 60 and number 120. And those are all actually blends of plastics where they'll actually spray on an insecticide to keep the flies off of the animals. And, um, What's important with the Rolla mixer is that they can actually blend these different colors together and then have them thoroughly clean out so that when you turn around and do another batch of a different color that they don't show up uh, some of those previous colors or previous pellets in the new batch. So what's important is the ability to blend these materials together, uh, do it in an efficient manner uh, so that you're not using a lot of energy and a lot of horsepower, but you're creating a homogeneous mixture of these materials throughout, uh, you know, from, from loading to blending to discharge thoroughly.